It's crazy to me that it has been almost a year since we did a rig walk around of this Jeep. There have been a lot of changes. Today in this video, we're gonna get with Marco and we're gonna talk about all the updates. <music> Welcome back to Trail Recon, I'm Brad, and today guys I'm really excited because uh, Marco and I are out here in Sandstone Canyon in Anza Borrego and uh, we realized that, Marco, it's been a year since we did the rig walk around of your Jeep, man. Can you believe yeah. it's been that long? I know, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, but you have done so many amazing things to this thing in just a year. It's really transformed. I mean, I, man, I remember filming this Jeep, I was like, man, I just love this Jeep, and now seeing it again, guys, Marco has done a lot of cool stuff yes. to it, uh, and we just decided, you know what, we're out here camping, we're having a great time. Marco, what have you been doing to the Jeep, man? It's been great, and it's been crazy. Yeah. Um, Wilco Off-Road MC2X bumpers. Okay. This, I love this bumper. It's about half the weight of the original bumper. Oh, nice. This is uh, chrome-oly and aluminum. Okay. Okay, and it's got the standard uh, grill guard. Really nice, I, I like the way it looks. I like the way it performs actually, it's, it's, it's light and the approach angle, it's, it's perfect. Yeah. You could see it at the uh, waterfall, there's, there's a, a oh, video right. of that too. And uh, yeah, the MC2X uh, bumpers from Wilco. Nice. Uh, under the sun inserts. Okay. This company is from New York City and they, uh, I got this insert thinking that it maybe looked good because it's got the topographic uh, yeah, design. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's I like pretty it. cool. Yeah. But this is a desert Jeep, yeah. and most of the time I'm over 100 degrees, and, right. I, and I was worried about getting uh, overheating because, because of this, but it has been perfect. Nice. I've been in, in 120 degrees weather, and yeah. there's no change in the temperature, yeah. so. I love the look, it's really kind of very it's nice. pretty cool, it's yeah, different. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's been, I've been busy. Yeah. I'm busy on this. Now, I, uh, I know we talked a little bit about the uh, snorkel, but tell the viewers, uh, tell us what you got and how the install went. I got the AEV snorkel. Great product, great quality. Yeah. Kind of, <laughs> to make the hole on the, uh, on the hood, it took, me, it took me a while. Yeah. But once I started cutting, yeah. it was a done deal. That's got to be a little nerve-wracking, man. <laughs> I mean, you're cutting the hood, right? You got to be very careful about that. They sent a really nice template okay. and good instructions, nice. so it's not that hard. Nice. Um, but yeah, making a hole in your new hood, <laughs> it's, 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 it's tough. tough. But it was done and it looks perfect. Uh, I think it looks great. You did a great job, man. And it also keeps my uh, air filter cleaner. Yeah. I just changed my air filter and it's a lot cleaner yeah, than yeah. before. Nice. That's awesome. I think that's something I want to do in the future, too. Uh, now let's jump to the rear of the Jeep because you've got some new gear back there. What do you got? I got the MC2X uh, rear bumper okay. with the uh, Wilco Off-Road uh, single motion tire carrier. Yeah. And I got the uh, accessories like the uh, cargo basket and the Rotopax holders. Nice. It looks great. Yeah, yeah. It's I love it. Really I really cool. like it a lot. Yeah. And now uh, even tires and suspension you've upgraded. W what have you done? I got the uh, BF Goodrich KO2s, okay. 35s. Yeah. Um, mounted on VTX Outlaw wheels yeah. that I love. I love the blackout look of it. And you've already scratched them up. I noticed I, that yes. yesterday on the trail. Like, oh, Marco's already scratched up his new yeah. rims. <laughs> Four days after I got it, I got scratched. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that's what they're for, yeah. I guess. Um, I finally did my uh, rear control arms okay. from Metal Cloak. Yeah. I went to the Metal Cloak uh, control arms. And uh, by their, re their recommendation, um, I put four and a half uh, inch coils in yeah. the rear and three and a half in the front. Yeah. So that uh, keeps the sagging. Yeah, I uh, remember when we control. did the original video, you were talking about sagging, so it's nice yeah. that you kind of fixed that already. Yeah, that, that took care of it, and it, it performs really well. Nice. Also, I did the um, brackets for the geometry correction okay. for the rear control arms. And on the road, it, it rides like, a, like when it was stock. Yeah. So I really like that, that upgrade that I did. Nice. I also did the Metal Cloak uh, HD track bar. Okay. Um, which is really nice. Yeah, yeah. I really like it. And of course, I went to Falcon Chucks. Yeah. Uh, I got the 3.3 adjustable, and I also did the adjustable um, steering stabilizer. Makes things world difference. Yeah, yeah. Um, most of the time, I run it on firm, okay. which is the number three setting. And uh, when I'm off roading, like in this area, it's uh, 2.4 seems to work nice. well for me. So I already got that. Uh, Figure Very it cool. out. Nice. So that's, you've done a lot down there. Now, 
Uh, we were at Overland Expo just last weekend, yes. and brother, the biggest attraction, and even something I was very <laughs> fascinated for, uh, is the new rooftop tent, man. Yes. Tell us about it. Yes, I got the Free Spirit uh, 49 inch uh, automatic, uh, automatic rooftop tent. So wait a minute, automatic. So this is a total luxury item, man. Now tell us, tell us about that. Before we get into the details of the tent, you gotta tell us about this automatic tent. It works without remote control. Oh, that's just crazy. And how long does that take to open and close? Takes a few seconds. Uh, a few, a few <laughs> seconds. Well, yeah, it, it comes with uh, with its own battery. Okay. It's powered by solar, a okay. solar panel. So it charges itself. It charges itself. Nice. And it's got a couple of uh, servo motors yeah. uh, that uh, lift the mechanism. Okay. Now, but you can also power it off the Jeep. You were telling me. Yes. Uh, if you hook it up to your 12 volt uh, outlet, uh, it's it's a little faster actually. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Now, how is it to sleep? In? Now, this is a smaller tent, though. So tell us about that, because you slept in it last night. Yes, it's smaller than the one that I used to have. Right. But setting it up, it makes a world difference, and uh, I really like it. It's dark inside. Yeah. It keeps things dark, and uh, actually, I think I slept like a an, an extra hour <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah. Now it was really windy last night, uh, but you were telling me that the side, the hard cover, you just. You set that down and made it. Yes, you could pull it down and strap it down, and that'll cover you from rain or or wind, like in this case. Yeah. And make the perfect night. Nice. Even with all that wind that we had last night. Yeah. Well, it's uh, very nice, brother. I love it. Now uh, let's talk about in the rear on the top. Uh, you've got a new chase light because this is yes. this is the first time I followed you out on the trail, and I was like, that is pretty cool. Tell us what you got. Casey Highlights has this rear facing chase light. Okay. And it's got red, right, red, left. Okay. You can even hook that up to your turn signals. Okay. Or your stop uh, light. Okay. So it's got a solid red. Yeah. Or a red uh, left and right. Okay. It's got an amber. Yeah. And an amber flasher. Yeah. So for us desert guys, that amber light is perfect yeah. because you know whoever is following you, it, it, you know they can really appreciate that you can yeah. see where you're going. Oh no, for sure. When you were kicking up the dust, I could. I was like, oh, there's Marco. It's easy to see. And it's also got uh, white lights for uh, camp and stuff, right? It also has a floodlight oh, in yeah. the center that you can use it for camping or or right. for reversing or backing right. up. Okay. And you've got a nice switch panel that's pretty easy to use, right? It's got six switches. Okay. And. Each switch controls uh, the different uh, uh, settings. Now the controller you have to get separately. Where did you get that from? That's made by Phoenix, okay. and it's the Phoenix 4200 Mini. Yeah. Um, Phoenix makes products like for emergency vehicles. All right. And KC is doing something with them. All right. Uh, in respect of this uh, rear chase light. Right. Right. Well, they go together perfectly. They go together perfect. Uh, they got the same wiring, yeah. so it's really easy to to hook up. Nice. So you've got that switch mounted on your vector bar, which I love. I bought my vector bar after we did your rig walk around, uh, just because it makes things so functional. But you've got some new goodies on there, man. What do oh, you got? Yeah, great product. I have the spot uh, tracking device. Oh yeah. My wife likes it because she can go online and see where I'm at when, yeah, I'm, yeah. when I'm traveling. Uh, that's mounted on the uh, 67 Designs uh, product. Yeah. I love the product. Yeah, uh, yeah me too. That the spot is on, mounted on the Nano okay. arm. And also I got from 67 Designs the uh, Overlander flashlight mount, yeah. uh, which is mounted on the mini carbon fiber arm. Nice. And I got my holder uh, for the GoPro camera, okay. which is mounted on a medium sized uh, arm okay. from 67 Designs also. Nice, yeah man, you got uh, all kinds of goodies up on there. Now you've got a few other little accessories in the interior, tell us about those. I got the Blue Ridge Attic, okay. Jeep Attic, that, that's where all my stuff goes, like <laughs> my jackets, my blankets, yeah. and it really... Uh, it's it, nice, you put stuff out of the way, it's pretty yeah, cool. It, yeah, it's, it's space that you need on right. a Jeep, so right, right. That, and that makes it perfect. Yeah. And also all my bags are from Blue Ridge yeah. overnight, really good product. And I got this uh, awesome uh, grab bars from GPCA, they're made out of metal, okay. and uh, it really sturdy nice well man uh, and they're red and they're red yeah which with nice little touches man i love it other than that uh it, the rear stays the same i got the same drawer system yeah yeah marco brother uh, it has been a great two days uh out here in sandstone canyon man i just love being out here and camping and uh Take the opportunity, man, to just kind of reflect on what you have done over the last year it's crazy to think about right i mean this jeep has come so far what's going to happen a year from now you think anything new 
I don't know, an engine swap? Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know. Awesome, man. Well, brother, thanks for getting on camera once again and talking with us. I really appreciate it. Again, thank you very much, Brad. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed uh, taking a look at Marco's Jeep. Man, I always love it uh, when I'm out here on the trail with him. He's always got some new giz gizmo or gadget. Uh, look, if you are visiting Trail Recon for the first time, uh, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team. Thanks for watching.